You okay? You okay? So hey, what's going on? I'm here to tell you guys that lately I've been a lazy son of a bitch and I need to get my ass in gear. I really haven't done a whole lot lately it's, and, and it's just me. It's, it's There's no excuse. That's, that's what it is. So I'm here to get myself back on track. So first off, let's take care of a little business. We had a contest going on for a $50 iTunes gift card and that contest ended last Friday. So now let's unveil the winners. And as far as anybody's concerned, uh, one person dominated the contest with her video and that was uh, no tell you're right one she actually beat the others by a lot congratulations to her and i want to thank all three contestants for entering the contest we'll have more contests down the road uh right now i'm going to take a break from some of the contests for a little bit just so i can get everything focused and get everything back on track the vlogs the videos the sunday thing that was supposed to start yesterday but it didn't because i was just too lazy to really get my butt up and film something but all in all we had a good weekend and it, here's what happened shooter drills in high school Really? Last night in class we were talking about some interesting things and the teacher brought something up that the fact that me and the teacher were the only two alive probably the last time that they did a nuclear attack drill in a high school. And I remember this back in the 80s when I was in school, we used to have nuclear attack drills where we would actually get underneath of the desk in case of a nuclear attack. Not that getting under the desk would have really done anything. I think it was more of a, a thing of show. So that was one of the things you just did back in the 80s. You lived in fear of a nuclear attack and you would have these drills. We would also have drills for fire where we'd go outside and, and tornado where we'd actually go into a hallway near the cafeteria and sit with our backs against the wall and put our hands over our heads. What seems to have, have taken its place this day and age, and it's really not surprising, is the shooter drills spurred on by Columbine and other events like that where schools have increased security because of folks bringing guns in. And it's crazy because we had gun problems back when I was in school. I remember a student bringing a gun to school, a loaded gun to school in high school, and the only thing that happened to him, the gun was turned over to a single police officer, and that student was expelled for the rest of the year. And when you think of that now, if that student would bring a gun to school now, you'd have 16 different departments, SWAT team, helicopters, you name it, and they would be out there for that one student and that gun. It's crazy to think of how times have changed so much that we went from being afraid of nuclear weapon attacks to being afraid of uh, shooters in schools. So any of you out there, do you remember the nuclear drills that we used to have to do? I know there's a few older viewers out there. Do you guys remember it? And, and for those of you who don't, what, what drills do you remember? All right, so I just got home from school and as I pull into the driveway, there's something on the side of my house. So I'm like, well, what in the world is this? I'm going to get up close to it, and you're not going to believe the size of this thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is the largest slug I have ever seen, and it's crawling down the side of my house. There's like a slime trail all the way back up. That thing is freaking huge. Look at this. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It's a big freaking slug. Let's go fishing. Today's school spirit day. Who's got spirit? Do you? <laughs> so what are we gonna make with the apples? We got a bag of apples and we got some caramel packs. You're not gonna make them, are you? as you stuff your face with grapes. Maybe you can do a caramel grape. Put the caramel over top of a grape and put it on a stick. <laughs> you don't like that idea? How come you're being shy? You used to always talk. All right, so I just arrived here at the hospital. Got to get my MRI done. Let's see what they say uh, after this. It's gonna take a couple days to get the results back, but. Hopefully we can get this thing resolved. All right, so that's over. There's nothing like laying perfectly still for 25 minutes while a machine bangs over top of your leg. That's 
really uh, what it is. Um, well, the crazy part is I actually almost fell asleep twice just because it was just like... But the cool thing is they uh, they actually, I don't know if you can see or not, but they, uh, they had music. They had headphones so you could actually listen to music, pick out whatever type of music you wanted to listen to while uh, you were in the uh, in the MRI machine. So that was kind of cool. But uh, all done, so let's see what the results are. So the weather has went from awesome to terrible, and it's freezing. But guess what? We're out picking pumpkins. What pumpkin do you want? Which one? Let's see it. You got it? <laughs> Did you get stuck on the pole? All right, which one? You want? You want? Lyric wants this one, so I'll get it. Oh, Lyric wants that one. So we're getting this one. Oh, this big mondo. So yeah, so we're picking pumpkins, and then we're gonna go through the corn maze. I guess there's a corn maze over there, and this should be fun. This is a big pumpkin. What? Oh my lord! You have to move that one over. All right, I'll move that one. So I can put this. What? Yeah, baby cows. Hello, baby cows. All right, so we just entered the corn maze and we're walking, and for some reason, I feel like I've seen this movie lost? before. We're gonna get lost. You guys think we're gonna get lost? Yes. Yeah. Are you scared? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to have our hats on? Because it's cold. Is this fun? All right, where do you want to go, left or right? We want to go this way. You want to go that way? All right, so to find our way through this maze, we have to answer questions on this sheet. We got the sports sheet to answer the sports questions. What you do is you come to a checkpoint and you answer the question. The first question was, what is the NFL record for the longest field goal? And it was 63 yards, so it tells you if you got it right, turn left or right. Next one was what candy bar was named after a famous Major League Baseball player? Charleston Chew, Baby Ruth, Wrigley Spearmint Gum, or Reggie Bar? Which one do you think it was? Because we got it wrong and ended up going the wrong way and backtracking all the way to the beginning. I see a number right there. Faces together. <laughs> Faces together. Forty-five pounders. I'm the tallest pounder. Okay. I'm the tallest pounder. <laughs> we made it out alive. We made it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo Yay! Now we can get to get the dog. Yes! Go! Go! Yeah! All right. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Don't forget to click thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to check. All the links down below in the litter box, Daily Booth, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And if you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and click the subscriber button right up top. That really makes it easier for you to find my videos because they show up right in your subscription box. And it's free. It's free of charge. No cost to you. Unless you want to send me some money and then it would cost you whatever you sent me. Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching. It's halftime right now. I'm going to go watch my Buccaneers on Monday Night Football and I'll see you tomorrow.